monuments will remain closed until further notice. Closed? Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witch of Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument? The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is! Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. The stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Only Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Dried blood stain. It will all work out. The coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. Scent leads to this door. Our blood's worth less than mine. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, and tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. You mean... Not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Watch your tone, Gramps. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh... I can explain everything. Um, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You and that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Go! 
Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin skeleton! What the love's this? Rosalinta! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Y yes That'll be best. I... I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. Uh, Rosalinda, my dove. Please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I were three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. Perhaps I... I could lend them to you. For one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You for deal, sir. That's great would be the end of me. Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair! The scar! Ah, the frown! It's all perfect! Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face, actual size, with the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not, long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape, perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go, then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. I'm here. Let us go! We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. We'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle Dove over the Heath hangs in the Ducal Palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Ah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. 
Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that, he merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachois. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything, set it out, ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. Neckers? Look like they made off with the paints. The question is, why? Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? <laughs> Looks a bit like a necker. Big blobs, what? A troll? Neckers depicting their victory over some trolls? That even possible? Necker propaganda? Found your things. Splendid! Where were they? And. Mm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Ugh, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. I've had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tails. Mm -hmm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tails. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. This the place? Yes. Just look at the view. Breathtaking. The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mm, pretty, I guess. Now. 
You must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh yes, a horse! Exceptional idea! But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hocks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? Now, if you wouldn't mind, that look you gave me when I first asked you to pose, would you be so kind as to adopt it again? That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. Uh, this gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> Run and hide. Dearest mummy! Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death. Not quite to death. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did, but I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof. Monstrous beast. Let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Ah for posterity. <laughs>